Good day, guys. Being here. Um, let's today. Let's do this one. Okay, so let's do this one. So um, uh, net. Okay, so sometimes we see. Um, I'll just quickly do a search. Um, oh, sorry. Architecture. Net, not network. Um, uh, sus suspended net. So sometimes we see these. Uh, these are quite interesting. So like this um, net uh, to create some interesting space. Um, so. Yeah, so maybe this one, something like this, and so how can we model? So this uh, quickly model this in Revit. Okay, so first uh, I'm going to create a project and maybe just uh, a model a floor. Okay, so let's model a floor and maybe model opening. Okay, so. Now let's go to 3D view. We have a floor with an opening. So what we're going to do is we'll create a net uh, in uh, this opening. Okay. So first um, we need to create a prof. Oh no no no. So first we need to create a pattern based family. Okay. So pattern based family. And um, in this one so we're going to try different uh, pattern so it will be this one rectangle uh, checkerboard okay and then uh, what we need to do is we need to place a point use draw on face and on any of these reference line and also create a reference circle draw on world plan set to a plan pick this point and draw a circle so now I'm just going to type in a very small number, so for example five, and then select this circle. Just remove the point, and also select these reference lines and create a form. Okay, so now you can barely see, barely see the form, but you can see this is the a sweep. Okay, now we can load this into the project. Okay, so now we go create a model model in place mass. Okay, and then we need three reference line across this opening. So let's do it. Reference. I'm going to use a spline through points. Okay, so this one it can be a, a straight. So two points a reference. Uh, oh, sorry, a spline. Another one. One, two. Okay, escape. And another one in the middle. One, two, and finish. And uh, it is 3D view. So let's go to 3D view. So on this one, we need to add another point. Okay, so another point. Draw on face. Place it on this midpoint. And then select this point. Make this point driving. So now select it again. We can move this point down. So now we have one point reference line two reference line three reference line we can create a surface so now you can probably it's a bit hard to see but you can roughly you can see this shape already like that net so now we can select this surface and use divide your surface okay so these are the patterns so you can you have the option to so for example i want this to be uh, 100 by 100 uh, maximum so you can go here maximum spacing type in 100 and here the same so uh, maximum spacing and 100 so now you will have this and then select this one go in go in this uh, list just pick this one so we we did okay so just wait a few seconds and and okay probably more more than se a few seconds um maybe 20 seconds and then this is it so now if i zoom in so you can see 
that's the net um, and finish finish it and and this is it All right very simple and I'll just quickly show you um, in case you have uh, not this uh, simple opening a uh, rectangular shape um, how to do it so I'll just quickly see as create similar so maybe I'll just create another floor so this time maybe uh, let's create a circle uh, opening okay so basically it's the same um, we need to create a model in place and I'll just yeah, go M mass okay and okay so we need to go reference line once again I'm just going to use a spline through points and just um, first uh, I'll just make something like this okay so just need to cover the whole thing and escape another one here and another one here and then the same and uh, the reason why I didn't uh, you can actually so I'll show you you can do it directly like uh, create one just need to because we need to place this point onto something or um, maybe we can I uh, don't matter so let's just one two three so you can do this as well one two three and make it reference on and then so we need to rotate this a little bit to just uh, yeah figure out where this point is so maybe we just move it down a little bit and and then one two three three reference line create a form and this is the form and of course we need to cut away uh, this uh, edge so uh, we need to um, okay so we need to, to create a void so let's do it reference I'm going to pick line okay so pick half this circle and half of this circle and then I'll just use um, I think I will use this line so starting from this uh, so this point I'll just draw this up whoops so I'll just check the chain I don't have chain checked so okay so finish at this point okay here and once again so start from this point just cover the whole uh, shape and then we can create a void from this reference or not sorry not this one and this circle see here so this half circle and all the way here and we can create a void and just make sure uh, where's my option yeah I found I think this is a, a, a bug because every time when I try to create something I don't have the option so to choose either um, a surface or a solid or void um, I'm not sure yeah so anyway we have this oh where is it I think uh, sorry maybe I'll just pick something pick a solid pick um, pick this one yeah so now we have this void uh, visible so then select this void just make sure it go down three meter go up three meter as well so make sure it cut the uh, the solid which is the surface this uh, this surface okay so now and we just need another one so this time select this and yep it's all selected same to the void and uh, I think click anywhere to create this void and then type in three meter so three meter up and uh, finish it so now we have this surface so if you tab so you can see you can select this surface okay and then you can ah oh, we can't do divided surface we need to tab again so tab again tab again yeah this one good divided surface and uh, the same just uh, change this to maximum spacing and 100 and 100 okay and then we can just apply that uh, pattern again oh uh, yeah 
sorry, uh, we don't need to because we uh, we change the pattern in the pattern based family, so would uh, it will automatically go under the um, what's that called chess chessboard chessboard? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll double check. I'll check that one. So oh, where where am I? Here. So make sure. So when you uh, create this pattern based family, so use a rectangle checkboard. So um, yeah, that's it. So you can see this one quite nice, right? And you can always. So for example, I want this to go down a little bit, uh, make make lower. So you can just select this point, which is a control point of this reference line. So just drag this down, and the, the net will go down with it. And this will take a, another 10 seconds, I think. Maybe 20 seconds. Yeah. All good, yeah. So nice. Um, I think this is it. And okay, so I just explain uh, why I used um, checkboard. I just uh, recently noted of uh, uh, just discovered that because previously if we use um, the rectangle, so it will overlap. So we we, but this one, uh, if I use checkboard, so you can see this one. There's no, so if I have this pattern here, so there will be no pattern here, 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 and then, and, oh, sorry, if I select it again, so the next one will go here. So there will be no overlapping except the corner, but this looks perfect, right? And this is it. Um, I, I think this is very, very easy. Don't You don't need to download this one. You can do it yourself, right? Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.